Emma's being good, so. From the video, Gospels as prophesying after the learning of the Jews from the Book of Mormon. I got a uh, hate comment from a white supremacist Christian whose name is Chris Scott. <clears throat> and uh, I, I'm hoping this will help Mormons understand that they do this exact same thing. Their arguments are exactly the same towards critics of the church, in particular me. And so let me go over it with you as a comment reply video. Uh, this person had to be reported, although um, I can't remember if I reported him or if I just banned him. But uh, yeah, when you have a preconceived bias that has never been scientifically confirmed through the scientific processes, you project hate uh, to other people and uh, you're mean white right supremacist and so a little background Christianity began with Constantine nobody else didn't begin with Jesus Constantine Constantine is the one who turned the messianic literature of the Jews their manner of prophesying into literal history and chose Jesus as the name for their Christ and then as a consequence the locations now literal history are now the literal events or places where the events took place and, and now Romans were doing cross crucifixions instead of the pole crucifixions it forced historians and scientists like archaeologists to alter science to fit the now literal history of the Bible and uh, that needs to stop science is supposed to establish the truth about the past rather than turning the Bible into literal history to change the science to conform and comply to the Bible it's like uh, Stargate you get a majority of people billions of people who insist that Stargate is real that in Colorado there's an actual Stargate command <clears throat> and uh, and so Wikipedia now needs to change to conform and comply that it's real and uh, and writing the histories now as having occurred all of the historical documents are the episodes of the show you know just like in Galaxy Quest <sighs> oh awesome movie and so that's where Chris is coming from here when he does this comment of hate and so he thinks he's going to book a Mormon's plane to me on my channel he doesn't understand I hold all comments for review so that I can make sure he doesn't pull the stunt and so he's trying to influence people with his comment he says the Book of Mormon summed up this is a book that uses the Bible as the base as a basis for his existence yeah, the majority of the plagiarism comes from the Bible then turns around and calls the Bible a liar as its basis for existence not quite there's some complications with that he doesn't un he doesn't understand article of faith number eight we believe the Bible to be the Word of God as far as it is translated correctly and so Mormons therefore because the Book of Mormon is literal history believe that the Book of Mormon needs to change the Bible to its wording so Lucifer not because of the Latin Vulgate in 400 CE 
It was known anciently prior to 600 BCE. And uh, Latin Vulgate finally just caught up to the correct passage to put in Lucifer in, from in, a, in the Isaiah passage. But the Jews got it wrong. Their text is wrong, not translated correctly. So, if you don't understand, I'm being mockingly sarcastic because the church has the inverted pentagram on the keystone of the Salt Lake Temple. So, <clears throat> it's a basis for its existence. And he says, there is nothing solid about the Book of Mormon. Well, that's a pretty bold claim. Seems pretty solid to me. <laughs> I can hold it pretty firm. <laughs> He's using a different definition, obviously, but here, here's his premises for this conclusion. It wavers back and forth between saying it glorifies the one true God. He's referring to Trinity. He refers later on. See, he doesn't get it. And saying that the one true God was not capable of keeping his prophets from altering the truth of his word. See, now he's making up his own wisdom. He's creating an argument without any basis of how to create an argument. It says that God is not capable of speaking clearly to his prophets. Sounds like the Book of Mormon is very clear that it speaks clearly to his prophets. Abinadi, for example, spoke pretty clearly to him. Alma the Younger spoke pretty clearly to him. Jesus himself spoke pretty clearly when he came to the Americas. Again, if it's literal history and apostles, but rather his word was unclear to them. They misunderstood what God said to them. I don't see where he's getting this from, unless it's 3 Nephi 11, where they heard the voice, but didn't understand it until the third time. The Book of Mormon says it follows God, the Holy Spirit and Jesus, but tells you they are not the one true God. It's referring to Trinity, but rather there are many universes. No. See, again, he's imposing Mormon's imposition that there's sci-fi needing to be imposed in there. Stargate, multiple universe theory. No. He's, he's making things up to confirm his argument, and it's an unsound argument and laughable. This guy would be laughed off the debate stage. <laughs> and if you are good enough and your family is good enough, you might be God, be the God of your own universe one day. No. Planet. Just a simple planet called the sun. That's it. Not a universe. Just a solar system, maybe a galaxy. The Book of Mormon denies the Holy Trinity. Yeah, so does the Joseph Smith history of 1838. <laughs> and God the Father, creator of all things in existence. The Holy Trinity is God the Father. You can't do and. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? No and. It's either the Holy Trinity or you speak of them separately. But again, he doesn't understand Constantine. He doesn't know the origin of his own religion. <clears throat> By teaching there are many gods. Is he unaware of paganism? Of which the name came from Constantine? By creating Jesus as the one and only Christ? Trevor Noah. <laughs> in his episode yesterday or the day before about King George and his inability to sign documents he talks about a black woman as if she were the slave to King George 
Oh, no, you don't. There's only one king. <laughs> oh, hilarious. But yeah, Christianity has devolved so much that they can't even grasp the concept of there having been kings. Even though Constantine the king was the one who created it. <laughs> oh man. See, Christianity is so screwed up because of Constantine. And all that they had to create to support it. 2,000 years of creation, just out of nothing, creatio ex nihilo, their god, it's so messed up, even after its fall, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, he doesn't understand Mormonism, because he's using his Christian bias, he doesn't get it, and he doesn't understand that this current church is not Joseph's church, he's imposing this church's beliefs onto Joseph Smith in the Book of Mormon, and he's getting so all screwed up. You catching that, ex-Mormons? Christians are getting screwed up because you too are helping to perpetuate Brigham Young's lies about Joseph and the Book of Mormon. I told you, I warned you, I demonstrated for you, you must follow the science. Let the science determine the narrative. Don't impose your bias. You will get screwed up and then you'll veer off course because you have to create things in order to support your core belief which was wrong uh, take heed what they tell you like the masons see he's now vilifying all of masonry he doesn't understand masonry he's just heard things about masonry because of William Morgan and he doesn't even know what it has to do with William Morgan You only learn what they want you to learn. That's true. This church only wants you to learn what they want you to learn. Unless you grow in your service to the tabernacle. Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? He's quoting, grow in your service to the tabernacle? That's not a Mormon quote. Where is he getting this from? Is there a, a thing on that? Grow in the service to the tabernacle. <coughs> no, he's making it up. There's a grow class about the tabernacle on YouTube. That's the Baptist church though. So I don't know what he's talking about there. <coughs> Four more minutes. Uh, run from this false teaching that says Jesus was just a man like any other man. There's the hatred of the Jews. There's the white supremacy merging. what Constantine did in order to conquer all of the uh, Jews who were forming the different groups in the Middle East and Israel and the surrounding areas though the actual core Jews they disappeared Alexandrian Jews were the most prominent to form Constantine's church but uh, <clears throat> in order to destroy them he had to change them and so he created Christianity turned Jesus into the Christ and that then got the people to call all the Roman Greek Egyptian religions as pagan heathens and turn the Jews into the ones who murdered their Christ who's not a man who can't be murdered but murdered their Christ 
because it's now literal history and so now you see how this teaching of Christianity as literal history for Mormons and for Christianity is very dangerous and very violent this is why holy wars got started this is why Mormon wars got started and bring them down is because they're teaching false teachings claiming others are the false teachers <laughs> and they're enforcing it with the sword a man who couldn't atone for the sins of the world again that's Christian doctrine that they had to create after Constantine <clears throat> See, the prophecy is Jeremiah chapter uh, 23, starting in verse 5. He's supposed to physically save and establish Zion, restore Zion, restore the kingdom. But because we're all mortal, Mormons can refuse and say, I'm not going on the Exodus in 2020 as prophesied. I'm not going to the capital to save the Constitution from destruction. I'm going to the capital to destroy the government and the Constitution. See where we're going with this? Mormons have been so blinded by the church that they have become so wicked that they are now weapons of the church to destroy America and which will get the church in trouble and shut down the church and the Book of Mormon will be banned and Joseph Smith will be banned and the leaders win because they can then rise up after America is destroyed and say hey it's the Church of Lucifer it's been the Church of Lucifer it's light bearer you like light don't you don't you like light get back to work slave give us all your money this is the law of consecration you're not worthy to have the ten underage virgins that we the prophets have but you keep working hard maybe you'll get there and if not maybe you'll be blessed in the after you're dead this is what they've got planned for you they're already setting it up for us now I've already been told many times by Mormons of the church oh no blessing will be withheld from the righteous will be rewarded when we're dead right women <laughs> and so yeah this Christian has no clue of what he's talking about father forgive them for they know not what they do Christians have become their own enemy that they have falsely accused the Jews of being and so I hope that helps Mormons because uh, you screwed things up royally oh it's checking for 10 more minutes at 4% uh, 5 views of Peter, James and John no, Kesedi Christ to Jesu Christos Jose Christos <coughs> because Mormons apparently have forgotten that when you go through the Washington anointings Guess what you take the name of? Christ. <sighs> Blasphemy, heathen, murder myself. <laughs> yeah, but the church doesn't want you to know this, and so they sort of leave that part out and say it's after you're dead. <laughs> oh, God. And so. So ridiculous when you are wrong. <laughs>